In this specific video, we're gonna go over the step-by-step -step process that you need to follow to set up a Shopify store in Ireland. We'll cover everything that you need to know about the entire process to ensure that you make no mistakes along the way. We'll touch on everything from specific regional differences to rules, laws, and regulations that are in place in Ireland itself. By the end of this video, you'll have a concise, clear idea of how to set up a Shopify store in Ireland and the best way to go about doing that. Make sure to follow along completely and watch this video all the way through so that you don't miss any crucial steps in the setup process, allowing you to effectively follow my guide and tutorial. Getting started with Shopify. Let's first start with a complete walkthrough on getting set up with Shopify. One of the best ways to follow along is to hit the link down in the description to get started with Shopify. When you use our link, you'll get access to a three day free trial. And then your first month on Shopify will only be $1. This is extremely helpful because it allows you to build and utilize Shopify to its full capacity without paying the actual monthly fee initially. Essentially, you can get everything set up within the first month and you can potentially even start making money with your website before you even have to pay for the subscription. Now, once you've clicked the link down in the description, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. All you have to do is enter your email address and hit the start free trial button. After entering your email address and hitting the start free trial button, it'll ask you a few specific details about what you need to get started with Shopify. The first question will be about what best describes you. Are you just getting started or are you already selling online? or in person. For this video, we'll assume that we're just getting started. Also, keep in mind that you can skip all these questions if you prefer. Next, it'll ask you what you would like to sell. You can choose anything for this, but for now, we'll go ahead and select I'm not sure. It'll then ask you what you plan on selling first. We'll go ahead and select products that I buy or make myself for this example. It'll then ask you to choose where your business is located. And for this example, make sure that you select Ireland if that's where you're trying to build your store, which if you're watching this video, I'm sure you are. Once you've chosen Ireland, hit the next button. Button. It'll then prompt you to create a quick Shopify account to get started. And you can either sign up with your email, Apple account, Facebook, or even Google account. After entering your email and creating a password, you'll be able to start building your Shopify store. So again, once you click the link down in the description, it'll bring you to this page here and you can just enter your email address to get started. So once inside your Shopify store, first things first, we want to show you how to customize your website. So to do this, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click on browse themes right here. And if you're unfamiliar with what a theme is a theme is just a way that your website is going to look and interact online. Now, there are tons of different themes that you can choose from on Shopify, both free and paid. So if we scroll down here, we can go ahead and see some popular themes. So if we wanted to go ahead and see how a theme looks, we can go ahead and hit try theme or view demo. Let's go ahead and just click on view demo. And then you can go ahead and see how this theme looks and interacts. And you can see this is going to be right for you and your store. Now, one important thing to do here is to check this little box right here so you can see how it looks not only on desktop but mobile as well as the majority of web traffic these days comes from mobile devices for this example we're just going to go ahead and customize the default theme which is called dawn it's a really good theme and it's really easy to customize so to do that we're just going to click right here so to make changes to this template or any template in shopify and start editing your website all you need to do is click on any of the elements within the this website editor to start editing it. For example, if we go ahead and click on this header here where it says opening soon, we can go ahead and change this to something like my first store in Ireland or whatever makes sense for you in your store. Now, we also have the option here to change the heading size. So right now it's set to medium. We can change it to small, large, extra large, or extra, extra large. And as you can see, that go ahead and changes the size of the heading here. Now, let's say you wanted to add a background image here. All you need to do is click on it and then you can see the different settings we have over here on the right to edit. So we can go ahead and select an image that you have on your computer, or you can go ahead and explore the free images from Shopify. So it's broken down into different categories like staff favorites, shop local, women's fashion, etc. There are tons of different categories here to choose from. And like I said earlier, you can also go ahead and upload your own. So let's go ahead and click on staff favorites. For this example, let's go ahead and click on men's fashion. And we'll go ahead and select this image for now. Now, one thing that you can also do too is change this image overlay opacity 
opacity. So for example, if you wanted to get rid of that white box and you just wanted to have the text on there, but maybe it was some lighter text, if you move this slider, it'll make that background image a bit darker so that anything on top of it will stand out a little bit better. Now, one thing that's important to do while you're customizing your website to make sure that you save your work. And so to do that, just come up here and click save in the top right corner. That way, any changes that you've made will save so that you don't undo all of your hard work. Now, over here on the left hand side, these are the different elements within the template. Now, if you wanted to add a new section, you can do so just by clicking on this button right here. And here you can go ahead and see all the different sections that you can add to your Shopify website. Some other things to note here is again, while you're customizing your website, you're going to want to click this mobile button up here on the top right to see how your store changes when it goes from desktop to mobile. Again, because so much traffic these days comes from mobile, you want to make sure that you have a good looking website for mobile. Now over here on the left hand side, we have these other theme settings and these settings will be reflected all throughout your website on this theme. So there is the logo here. So you can go ahead and upload your own custom logo. And it also has an option here to upload a favicon. And if you don't know what a favicon is, when you open up a new tab in your browser, there's typically a little icon next to the tab title. That icon is a favicon. And so in order to create a cohesive experience with your website and your brand, you're going to want to create your own custom favicon. And this is where you can go ahead and upload that. Now you can also change the themes colors. And whenever you change a color on here, it will be changed throughout your website. So you don't have to go and change it individually, wherever this blue color will show up and you change it to a red color. Now, anywhere where that blue color was on your website, it will now be red. Now, when you make any changes, remember to click the save button. We also have the ability to change the typography. So different fonts and different heading styles that will be changed throughout your entire website. And as you can see, there are all these other different settings here that we won't go into each of these. But as you can see, you have full, complete control over customizing your website. So now that we've shown you the basics on how to edit your website, let's show you how you can import products and start selling them. To import products into your Shopify store, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to leave the website editor here or the theme editor by clicking the exit button here and coming back to the dashboard. So what we're going to want to do is navigate over here to the left hand side on products and then click on add products. So here we can go ahead and enter a title for your product for whatever that may be. For this example, we'll just do a hat. And then below that, we can go ahead and add a description for our product as well as any media. Now, one really cool thing that Shopify has built into it is its AI text generator. So we'll go ahead and call this athletic hat for working out. Go ahead and click generate and Shopify's AI will go ahead and create a description for you and to put it in the description, go ahead and click keep and then it'll automatically be populated there. You also have these different formatting tools here to make this description however you would like it to be. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add some media for our product. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click upload new and select whatever images you want. Now I would suggest adding multiple media options here from different angles and whatnot. But for this example, we're just gonna go ahead and upload this one picture here. So once you've uploaded your media, now we can go ahead and set the pricing by entering how much you'd like to charge for your product. You can also enter the cost per item and get a calculated profit margin. And additionally, you can track inventory by setting your shop location and specifying how much inventory you have. And there are also options for weight and other settings like SEO optimizations in the meta fields. So for this example, let's go ahead and price this hat at $25 and the cost at $7. And now it'll go ahead and start calculating this price for us. And down here, this is where we go ahead and track quantity and inventory. So for instance, what we can do is shop location. We can go ahead and add this. Maybe we have 50 of these hats and that number will start to go down as you begin to sell products. Now, so as you can see, just by uploading that picture, as well as the AI generated text, it went ahead and filled this stuff in for us, which is pretty cool. It put in the color, the fabric, age group, headwear features, as well as the target gender. Now, if you're not selling your own products and you want to do drop shipping, I'll leave a link down below to Zendrop, which is my favorite drop shipping fulfillment platform. This is what I recommend every new drop shipper to use because it's the most reliable drop shipping fulfillment tool on the market. Other companies use middlemen, but Zendrop actually has their own warehouse and they source directly from manufacturers. So you'll get the fastest and most reliable shipping times. 
and they have tons and tons of US suppliers for two to five day shipping. Now with this link, you guys are gonna get a seven day free trial. You get half off for the first three months and $200 in order credits, which is just an amazing deal. And the most helpful thing is the Zendrop Academy, which comes included, where they will have weekly coaching calls or you can join their weekly office hours to get your stores audited and learn new ad strategies or learn what products to actually sell. And it's directly from a coach that's done millions of dollars in sales himself. All you have to do is fill out your information right here to start your seven day free trial. So with Zendrop's plus plan, you can also see their trending products. And of course the best part, which I think is the Zendrop Academy. They have data that shows that if you become a plus plan member, you have a four times higher chance of generating your first sale. That's just because all of the resources that Zendrop gives you to succeed. So if you want to get started with Zendrop, click the link down below in the description to get started with your free seven day trial. Okay, so now that we've discussed some of the key differences and some of the essential considerations for your Shopify store in Ireland, let's dive into the practical steps to configure some of your store settings. So this should ensure that everything is set up correctly from the start. So to navigate to the settings, we're going to go ahead and look down here in the left hand corner and click on settings. First things first, let's set the store's currency to euros if it isn't already. Again, if you selected Ireland as your location at the very beginning, this might already be set up, but it's always good just to double check. So if you needed to change it, you can go ahead and just click these three dots right here to change your store currency. And if you make any changes, be sure to go ahead and click save as you go. And by doing this, all your product prices and transactions will be conducted in euros, making it easier for your customers in Ireland to understand pricing and complete purchases. Next, we'll go ahead and configure the payment gateways. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on payments over here. So Shopify has several different payment gateways that it offers like PayPal, Stripe, etc. But we recommend using Shopify payments, which is the first option right here. And as you can see, there's 0% transaction fees and then card rates starting at 1.5% plus 25 cents. It's a default payment gateway and it works pretty good. Next, we're going to configure shipping settings. So shipping settings are crucial for ensuring that your products reach your customers efficiently. So from settings here, we're going to want to go to shipping and delivery, and we're going to want to go to manage rates. So in the shipping section, we're going to click on manage rates. So to go ahead and manage the general shipping rates, we're going to go ahead and click right here. In here, we'll go ahead and see the product that we created, as well as the different shipping zones down below. And to create a new shipping zone, we go ahead and click create zone. And here you go ahead and select from a different area. After that, we can go ahead and add a new shipping rate. And under rate type, you can select use flat rate or use carrier or app to calculate rates. Then you can go ahead and give it a custom rate name. Maybe we'll call this priority shipping. And we can go ahead and give it a price. We'll make that $25 and hit done. So by configuring your shipping settings correctly, you'll ensure that customers get accurate shipping costs and reliable delivery through an app post or other preferred carriers. And as always, remember to click save to save all of your changes. So by following these steps, this will help you set up the essential configurations for your Shopify store in Ireland, from currency settings and payment gateways to shipping options. These settings are foundational to providing a seamless shopping experience for your customers. And again, remember to save all changes and double check each configuration to avoid any issues down the line. Now let's talk about some of the key differences when it comes to building a Shopify store in Ireland. Now, one of the primary considerations is that all currency exchanges will be conducted in the Euro or EUR. And the best way to configure this is under the settings, which we've just shown you how to do. Now, another major consideration is the payment gateways. Always remember that there are differences in the payment gateways available and that some countries may differ from others. A significant advantage here is that Ireland's payment options aren't very different from many other parts of the world. Options like Stripe, PayPal, and various other payment gateways are all available in Ireland. And remember, we recommend using Shopify payments because there are no additional transaction fees when using them. When it comes to shipping, make sure to use an app post or optimize for this specific carrier as it is the primary carrier within Ireland and most people 
people are familiar with it. It's also beneficial to set up your shipping zones correctly, which we've shown you how to do. Additionally, Shopify provides a full suite of tools for handling anything related to shipping, duties, or custom. You should also be familiar with Irish consumer law. These laws govern the specific interactions and transactions between businesses and consumers. For example, consumer protection laws ensure fair and transparent business operations and include regulations against misleading advertising and ensuring data privacy and security. The General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, applies, requiring businesses to handle personal data with a strict confidentiality and security. When it comes to taxes, Ireland has specific VAT regulations that you need to follow. The standard VAT rate in Ireland is 23%, which applies to most goods and services. If you plan to sell to Northern Ireland, be aware that it follows EU VAT rules similar to Ireland, despite the broader UK leaving the EU. This can affect your VAT calculations and shipping rates, and you might need custom solutions or apps to manage these differences effectively. But other than that, I hope you found this video useful. If so, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. And let me know in the comments below what you plan to do with your Shopify website and feel free to ask any questions down below. Make sure to use the link in the description to get started with Shopify for only $1 for your first month. Keep in mind that these are affiliate links and we earn a small commission from every signup. So if you end up using those links, we thank you so much in advance. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.